Hello friends, this is Eric, KJ4YZI, Ham Radio Concepts. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell, as I keep saying, because people are telling me they don't get notifications and they have no idea I make videos. Gotta click that notification bell. So, continuing in our Ultra Series of Rig Expert Antenna Analyzers, we have the AA650 Zoom. In the previous video I did the AA35 Zoom and the AA600 Non-Zoom. Now we're gonna check out the AA650 Zoom. And as I said in the previous video, you may say, well, it's only 50 megahertz more of range. No, it's got the zoom functionality. So they call this the green family of antenna analyzers, but this one has uh, features that the, 650, or the 600 non-zoom does not have. Thank you Gigaparts for sending me every one of the rig experts for loan so I can make a video and show every one of these. And if you want a 5% discount, Go in the description in the link below this video and click that to the Rig Expert page on Gigaparts and you can see a 5% discount on any one of those devices from Rig Expert for my fans watching the video. Thank you, Gigaparts. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, hamradioprep.com. Okay, so this comes, again, inside the, the blue canvas bag. So when you're at field day and you have a, some friends that have dirty hands, they don't mark up, you know, your brand new looking analyzer, okay? Now, again, just to remind you, Rig Expert has a two-year guarantee on all their stuff. You know, there's a lot of people making analyzers and a lot of them do work. I'm not saying that this is, you know, that MFJ is not good. I've had an MFJ for years that I used it. I'm not saying to answer what everybody might say, oh, I can get a $49 VNA on Amazon and do the same thing. No, you can't. No, you can't. I can tell you why, because I have one. And although I can sweep all kinds of stuff, it takes me an hour to jump from each individual band after I recalibrate it. This is self-calibrating. You don't have to throw those loads on top and tell it what frequency you're calibrating it for. And it's hard to see in the sunlight, that little VNA. It's, it's usable, but it's not a rig expert, okay? So that's my story right there. Now in this one, this 650 Zoom, we're back to a nice color display color um, photograph on all the menu options of this antenna analyzer. So it shows you everything on how to use different functions on this thing, a very well-written manual. I like that. It does come with, again, a super quick charger for the rechargeable batteries that come with it. These are Kodak. So I think that's cool that you can use alkalines in here. Now remember, something like my MFJ269 requires 10 AA batteries and in the field, they can die and then you end up you know, needing to charge batteries. And I have a slew of rechargeable batteries that can charge on solar or wherever. But this, they give you that so you can keep this thing running at all times. A USB cable because every one of these, almost every one of these can, uh, rig expert antenna analyzers can connect to the computer on USB. So you can plot all this data and save it while you're building your antenna, while you're making your matching stubs, while you're testing your coax feed lines to see where the anomalies are and save that as you make changes, okay? And they do give you the little, you know, 110 to European adapter there. And the, uh, the lanyard for that blue case with the, um, you know, adapter here from N to SO239. So this one as well has anything up over the, from the 600 and above, model is going to have an N because you want to have the N for lower loss for higher frequencies. So you're going to see, keep watching, you're going to see all the rig expert models, but they do give you the adapter in case you want to use this for HF. So you, you typically your HF is going to have a PL259 on it. Okay. But this will do up to 650 megahertz range. So that encompasses everything in HF, VHF and UHF, including GMRS, Marine, business band, public safety, um, at everything there, even uh, a VHF low, VHF high, you know, GMRS, I said it all. Okay, that covers everything. So that's uh, pretty cool. So let's get into this real quick. I have the Chameleon MPAS 2.0 connected outside as a field deployable antenna. I love that antenna. I'm going to connect it onto here real quick and just show you around this analyzer in case this is something you're interested in. Okay, when you fire this up, we're back to the color screen that is resembling the AA35. Okay, and uh, so 
you know, maybe you want the zoom functionality, maybe you don't want the zoom functionality, maybe you want the, you know, it seems that the manual with the color illustrations match the screen on the device, okay? So there's a, there's a device for everybody. So let's go across a couple things. Now again, most all of these can be used as a TDR, time, do, time domain reflectometer to check your coax, your feed lines, and, and to see where you might have an anomaly in your coax without having to climb up your tower and check every foot, okay? Um, so we're going to do this. We're going to connect. We're going to go to um, SWR meter. That's the first way of looking at this. And I can hit number three. Uh, let's see. Number three would be the frequency. And we're going to go to, um, uh, let's see, uh, 80 meters. Let's do 80 meters. Zero, uh, zero, three, uh, 600. Okay. And hit start. 3.2 to 1 SWR with a 5.58 return loss, 5.58 dB. Now, that's a real-time, in real-time display with a meter of your SWR. As you make changes, you can watch the meter go up and down. Good for a single band. Now, we'll hit stop, and we'll go back to the uh, SWR chart, okay? Now, this one takes a couple things to set up. What you'd want to do is first go to the uh, frequency range, and you can hold F and choose the band that you want. So we'll go to 30 meters. Okay, you see on the side, 30 meters. Let go. It sets it to 30 meters center frequency with automatic, uh, uh, you know, uh, scan width over here. Let me hit start. Now that's going to start again. There you go. That's going to plot the entire 30 meter band on here. And then you can use the arrows left or right. And you can see with the arrow on there, Let's see. Okay. You can see what the SWR is, which pretty much seems constant across the whole band. And you can zoom in. That's the zoom feature here. You can go up or down and zoom into a very small spot. Okay. And see what the minimum SWR is, the zoom feature. So we're going to go back. Now let's do this again. We'll go to SWR chart and we're going to hit frequency range. I'm going to pick. Um, uh, 20, let's see, center frequency will do 20 megahertz. And I'm going to sweep 10 megahertz each way. Start. Now watch. Now I can sweep a wide array of frequencies on this antenna analyzer and then use the arrow to go over and see the SWR and then use the zoom function to zoom in right at that spot. Okay? and see the SWR and all that right there. Pretty cool. If we go back and we go to Smith chart, you could use the Smith chart to check out your antenna at a given frequency. And we get the frequency too wide, so go to frequency range, go to 20 meters. Okay, start. Now it's drawing here, you can see it? So on the Smith chart, you hit Frequency range, and we can go uh, center frequency be, I don't know, um, 20 megahertz. No, it's 200. Frequency range, 20 megahertz. Okay, and then we're going to go to the uh, 5 megahertz wide of sweep. Start. Now you can see here on, this, on the Smith chart, it will show you if you want to read it in a Smith chart form. The last bit I want to show you, there's a lot more you can do with this, but check this out. Now the last one here, multi SWR. Now you can do TDR chart, return loss chart. So you can see this does a little more than the 600 does, right? So multi SWR, and I can check five different bands at one time. So we'll go for here, frequency, 28, 400. Go to the next one, frequency range, 14. 250. That's 142.50. Fine, we'll keep it there. Okay, and then we'll go down here. Frequency range 0, 14.250. Okay, that's just three of them. That'll tell you the SWR. Look, on three or all five, depending on how you set it up, a multi SWR snapshot in real time as you make changes to your antenna. Like an octopus or a chameleon spider, you have multiple sets of ham sticks on there. You want to check all the bands at one time right here on this rig expert, okay? And this does have Bluetooth. This does have things like I said, TDR chart. It's got uh, in your tools, you have stub tuner. 
Okay, you have cable impedance, so if you want to do 75 ohm, 50 ohm, whatever, and uh, cable loss and stuff like this, you also have up here, all parameters, enter, look at this, ready? Shows you everything at one snapshot on this analyzer. It doesn't get any more convenient than this to show you everything on one analyzer, and with a 650 megahertz range with the zoom feature, you'll know exactly what your antenna is doing, and I encourage you to Check out all my videos on the Rig Expert because there's a model that may suit you. You know, some people may not need one that goes up to 650. Some may need one that go up to 2000 megahertz. And you're going to see that video coming up in this playlist. Check out the Gigaparts website in the description below and look at the code on top of that page for 5% off any one of these Reg Expert antenna analyzers. Thanks to Gigaparts for hooking up my fans with a coupon code. And thank you, Rig Expert, for making such a quality device here. 7-3, this is KJ4YZI.